today's video, I would be telling you how women's knee is different from male knee. Hello friends, how are you doing? Welcome to the YouTube channel Health Q, the place where our mission is to motivate you to look at the brighter side of the hair. So without wasting much time, let's get into this factful video. Men women are different in many ways, but have you ever thought that men and women's knee are also different? Yes, it's true. Women and male knee are different in many ways. Many people think that women's knee is just a miniature version of male's knee, but that's not the fact. In reality, there is a lot of difference at different levels. So, so let's start from the first level or its first difference and that is the difference of male knee and women knee starting at the hip joint. Well, women tend to have wider pelvis compared to male. The reason being because since women have to give birth to a child, the pelvis region has got lax ligament. At the same time, the angle at which the pelvic bone joins with the sacrum bone or it's called as the tail bone is also wider. This leads to a wider shape of the pelvis. Now, what happens with this? The hip bone is also more pronounced compared to male. This increases an angle which is called as Q angle in the knee joint. And this brings to the difference there in the knee structure in male compared to women. And that is the women's knee is more extended and internally rotated compared to male. Women tend to stand in a way where the knee would be more straight compared to male. At the same time, the kneecap bone or the patella bone would be seen a little bit more inwardly position compared to male. This puts them at a higher risk of knee injury. Apart from that, the another way the women knee is different from male knee and that is at hormonal level. Women have got higher estrogen level in their body. Estrogen is a hormone that delays the collagen formation inside the body. Collagen is nothing but a structure or as fibers that makes the ligaments. Hence, whenever a woman will have an anterior cruciate ligament injury or any sort of ligament injury, the estrogen will delay the process of healing because estrogen will not allow the collagen formation to happen faster. And that's why knee injuries takes more time compared to men than in women. The next difference is at postural level. Women tend to stand with more erect knees compared to male. Even while playing, women tend to adopt more erect posture, especially when they are landing. Now, whenever they are jumping and landing with knees straight, that puts them at a higher risk of knee injury. And that's why women have got more injury episodes of knee compared to male. Looking at the muscular level, women tend to have stronger quadricep muscles compared to the hamstring muscle. Well, you must be wondering what are quadricep muscles. Quadricep muscles are the front thigh muscles which are, which are responsible for knee extension. As I previously mentioned in postural side that women tend to stand with more straight knee which means they tend to develop more strength in the quadricep group of muscles but they tend to develop weakness in the back thigh region. Now this imbalance leads to more chances of tripping and pain or its fall following walking and other activities leading to higher risk of injury among women. According to National Institute of Health, women are eight times more higher at risk of development of anterior cruciate ligament injury compared, compared to men because of these factors. So what should a woman do in order to prevent knee injuries? The first thing is to educate themselves and understand what are the patterns that women tend to have in relation to knee joint. Once they are educated, then they should focus on strengthening the weak group of muscles and also learn, also educate themselves in using right postural techniques that prevents knee injuries. Women should also learn to identify situation where they are at high risk of development of knee injury or else fall and thus try to learn some alternative techniques in order to minimize those risks. Women should also focus on improving their stability and agility while doing their training programs. And Cross training is one of the important things that a woman can do in order to make sure that the knee strength is maintained well in a balanced way. Which means as the quadriceps are strong, similarly the back thigh muscle or as the hamstring muscle as well as the calf muscle should be equally strong in order to maintain a good amount of balance and at the same time prevent repetitive stress injury around the knee joint. So friends, this was a small information packed video 
a knee joint i hope you found this video informative if yes make sure to like this video share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to our health q channel see you in another video thank you